Hi friends, uh, today I'll show you how to sync a Casio PAW1300G uh, radio sync uh, atomic sync uh, uh, wristwatch from anywhere in the world with an Android phone and the app that is used uh, for the sync is this uh, what is that? Uh, JJ emulator. You can install it uh, from the uh, App Store. JJY emulator. Um, since it's a requirement of the uh, watch uh, that it has to be in one of the time zones where the clock will automatically sync, either in US, Europe, China, or Japan. You'll have to set the home code to. I'm just selecting it to, uh, uh, you know, set the home code to Japan. Press and hold the suggest button. Right now we are on the Delhi time code. Uh, we'll move to Tokyo. Yeah, even uh, Seoul or Tokyo will work just fine. And uh, now that we have set the watch to uh, the Tokyo time zone uh, will quickly put our phone on uh, airplane mode and then hit the settings so that we can change the clock also to uh, uh, the Tokyo time zone right date and time then uh, set time uh, this is automatic time zone set select time zone India. So let's select Japan. Okay, uh, now that we have selected Japan, we are good to go. Ensure that the clock uh, is in uh, automatic, uh, the phone is in airplane mode so that the clock doesn't sync automatically and then you head back to the app as you can see it will now in uh, um, the japanese time zone uh, and uh, you can select a 40 hertz uh, 40 kilohertz frequency or the 60 kilohertz frequency i'll go with 60 kilohertz because that is something that works so once you have said that you move to the uh, watch uh, uh, mode where it will receive the time code uh, let me just uh, yeah so as you can see i just did a sync yesterday and you press and hold this it should go into the recall uh, manual so you put this uh, you know the speaker of the phone to the actual sensor you put it there and you see the small triangle here that will show the strength of the signal okay um, so just uh, wait you need to wait see that it's picked up the signal already uh, this will happen some three four times and then you should get a get uh, uh, symbol uh, GET uh, wordings uh, in the in the clock display. That means it has got the signal. If you do this late in the night, uh, you will hear a high frequency sound. Um, yeah, it won't be 60 hertz, uh, but the speaker, uh, the phone speaker, doesn't support 60 hertz. But you'll hear a high pitch sound which is pretty irritating to uh, younger kids so this will take some time uh, what I have uh, understood so far is that uh, this will take about uh, 8 to 10 minutes of time so you need to have a little bit of patience um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll yeah uh, we'll wait till that yeah see that we got a get okay 
so that's pretty quick uh, maybe the first time it took eight minutes from going forward uh, it will happen much faster okay uh, this to now uh, you need to set back the clock uh, now that you have got it uh, you need to set back the clock to uh, go back to the timekeeping mode and then see that signal it's showing full because the it's working here if you come out of the zap the signal will stop okay uh, to press and hold this uh, so that uh, we will go to the Tokyo let's uh, go back to our home time code yeah we are good here it's 10 30 in the morning and then in the phone we'll go back to our normal time zone still little time automatic little time time zone region india okay yeah we are good here and then uh let's come out of the uh, thing and we are back to normal 